Hi, this time we talk about connectors. Well, connectors are the ones which we use to connect the different shapes and often used in flowchart. But even inside connectors, there are various tips and tricks which you would want to know for sure. Let's see which one of those are there. So let's assume that we have a picture and we have to draw three shapes. There could be three different phases or three different subtopics. I want to first create those shapes. So I'm quickly drawing a shape. Rectangle one. We remember from our past discussions, if you have watched the previous videos, that if you press shift and control and keep it pressed and then simply pull this rectangle down with your mouse, automatically a replica is created and they are automatically aligned. So once I picture perfect this entire alignment, again pressing shift control, then using the mouse and then ensuring the smart guide helps me put them appropriately. Now I can also move this picture and you notice the smart guide is now talking about middle point of the picture as well as the second shape. Now what I want us to do is draw connectors, draw connectors. So I want to draw three connectors and I do not want to go to insert shape three times. So what I'll do, I go to insert shapes, I find out my appropriate elbow connector. This is the one elbow connector. I right click on it and I say lock drawing mode which means I can draw continuously until I press escape. So I click on lock drawing mode. I go to the middle point of this picture. This icon reminds me of the connecting point, the pivot, then going to the middle point of the first shape. The icon hasn't changed, it's, it has not gone back to normal. It still will allow me to create that shape. Again let me click on the middle point of the picture, go to the middle point of the shape. Let me repeat the process for the third shape also. Now, a couple of things. If you are connecting and locking to the shape, the major advantage that you would have, let me press escape before I show you that, is even if you move the shape, the elbow arrow connector automatically adjusts accordingly. Now, how do you detect it has been perfectly locked with the shape? If you choose the entire block, notice this green dots, green dots indicate that they are locked to the shape. Now for example, for example, had I not connected appropriately, notice now when I select all the components of this group, this one small white square box indicates that this shape may not have been locked to the originating picture. So in a big slide where a lot of objects are there, where a lot of connectors are there, you may simply press Ctrl A and this green bubble will help indicate that how many of them have been perfectly locked to the appropriate shape. So we spoke about the green dots, have spoken about how to lock the drawing mode. But hey, if you look very closely, let me magnify that section of the slide, which is relevant. There's a kink in the second connector and this is something unavoidable. However, however, we can take appropriate measures to rectify that. How? I'll select the second connector. I'll right click on it and there's a section which says connector shape. Let me change that to straight connector. This is point one. It somewhat reduces the kink or the anomaly. The second option is if I can choose all the shapes connector, I right click on it. I go to format object. What I'll do is I'll simply change the width to three point and that should solve this entire problem. So this is the max we can do assuming that these are three different appropriate connectors. So I've just given three snapshots. How do you indicate, get the green dots that these are locked to the shape? How do you change the second shape to a connector type straight? And in case, in case the logic or the phase you're talking about, the three phases or three subtopics, one of them could be a hypothesis or something like, let's say dummy process. You can also make sure that this shape connector is in dashes. So let me right click on that third connector, go to format shape, go to dash type and change this to dotted lines. Now this is quite often used to indicate dummy process or hypothesis which is not a fact and is a possibility.